Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a basic scatter diagram in Excel 2010. So first of all, I've drawn a scatter diagram here and this diagram represents two sets of data. I have taken ratings for an online course, that's a web-based e-learning course, and I've also taken the ages of the respondents. And supposing I want to see, is there a relationship between age and course rating? So over here on the right-hand side, I've plotted a scatter diagram, and you can see what all the red dots here represent all the data. So I've plotted course ratings against the age. And this gives me a, a scatter diagram from which I can compare the two variables. So let's see how we go about drawing this diagram in the first place. So I'm going to delete this one here and create it afresh. And the data that I'm going to use are, are the data in column A and column B. So I'm going to select all the data first. And then I'm going to go up to the insert ribbon on the top of my page here. And in the almost in the dead center, there's an option to create a scatter diagram. Okay, so this allows um, us to create one here. These are also known as XY charts as well. And the type I'm going to choose is the first, the simplest one here. So select that. And Excel straight away creates the diagram for me based on the data. Now I need to make a couple of changes to this so that it makes it a bit more readable. I don't need the legend, so I'm going to delete that. And I want to have uh, the age uh, label on the vertical axis here and the ratings label here on the horizontal axis. So in my layout up in chart tools up here at the top, I'm going to click on layout and the axis title section here in the center. And I'm going to select for the primary horizontal axis title the option title below axis, so that'll put down here in the bottom, where I can insert my label for ratings. I'm just going to do a similar thing here for the, um, or the vertical axis, so I'm going to select axis title, primary vertical axis, and the option I'm going to take here is the simplest one, which is called rotator title, and once again I'm going to edit that so as I can type in age over here. And I can also by choosing the design uh, tab up here as well, I can change the color of the of the dots on my chart. Uh, red is a nice color here. I'm going to look at that. So now I can see my age plotted against rating on my scatter diagram here. As you can see, it gets the name from the, the dots on the scatter diagram being scattered all over. And now I need to be able to analyze these data here and analyze this chart. And I can see, if I draw an imaginary line from the top left here down towards the mid right hand side, I can see that there's a, a relationship, sometimes called a correlation, between these two variables. So for example, I can see that the older a person is, um, the more likely they are to score a low, give the course a low rating. And that the younger a person is, the more likely for the rating to be higher. So I can say that age is correlated here, uh, is related to the online course rating. So in other words, younger people prefer online courses perhaps a bit more than uh, older people do. So that's a simple scatter diagram. You can do this for any types of data. You can also change the shapes and the colors and the layout of your diagram here to make it to suit it for your needs. But that's how to create a basic scatter diagram. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.